Before we start the video, I want you to type in the comment section, thank you Elite for blessing me with another video. I am so thankful for your videos on editing and without your tutorials, my editing would be so garbage. All right, so you wanna start off with your blank canvas. You wanna get some text, maybe write out something that describes you. Uh, all right, perfect. So now that you have your text here, you wanna click on your drop down menu, uh, click on your text, blah, 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 drop down menu, alt click the source text here. So now you have your, uh, this is this is gonna be your text. So you wanna type this, this is a pretty simple expression. Uh, so text.source text dot slice and they're gonna say uh, zero and then t comma time in parentheses, right? So now we have our kind of typewriter effect. So uh, what we're gonna do is multiply this by 10 uh, to make it go faster because it's, it's too slow for me to be honest. Like uh, let's actually multiply that by like 15. Actually, no, 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 let's multiply that by 1.5 million. Um, okay, no, 15 is fine. Okay, so now that we have our text, we're gonna wanna add our little blinkers. So we're gonna click on the text here and we're going to press space, uh, no, no, plus, and then in quotation marks, we're gonna put this thing right here. So you see that just adds a thing at, at the end of the text, but it's not blinking. Uh, so how do we make it blink? So I'm actually just gonna go to the beginning of our, text our code here and all right, we're going to make a few variables so just let t equals uh, math of floor time and then we're going to say if um t t percent two equal zero uh and then we're going to come back come up here again say let o equals false all right, then we're gonna say O equals true. And then come down here, we're gonna say else. And then uh, make sure it's exactly how I have it here. And then O equals false, fazl, <clears throat> O equals false. So then we're gonna come over here and actually put this in parentheses and then put O question mark at the beginning of that and then put a colon there and then just put quotation marks there. And then if we look at this, we have it blinking, but that's a little bit slow. So we're gonna come up here and just say times two, bam. That's actually pretty sweet. So yeah, multiply by however fast you need it to be. And you got your little blinker thing and you can put a space here if you want it to be further away from the text. Uh, but I actually think I like it closer to the text. And I'm not just gonna show you how to make it blink, but how to make it look cool and stuff, like all retro and blah, blah, blah. Um, so let's actually add a new solid, right? And let's add a mask to this. Uh, alt control, bam, and subtract. All right, we're gonna have like a little console right here. So let's let's select the text here, and here's how we're gonna do this. So first, we're gonna add we're gonna add a mosaic effect. Uh, mosaic. And just set this to 1920 divided by four, and then 1080 divided by four. So it's just basically a resolution divided by four. So we're in 1920 by 1080, so it's 1920 divided by four, 1080 by four. Okay, uh, grid, we're gonna go to our grid and set this to zero, zero, four, four. Pretty simple. Uh, set this border to like one, and make it black, change the blending mode to multiply. So now we have this little grid right here, but that's kind of not that cool. So we're gonna go to channel mixer and we're gonna add that effect, then duplicate this layer three times. So on the top layer, we're gonna leave only the red. So we're gonna 
Okay, this the, the green one should be on top at the beginning. Uh, so leave green at the one on the top. The second one, leave red. Then the bottom one, leave blue. And we're going to add an HLS effect. And basically just shift that whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't doesn't really matter what you shift it to. Just make sure it's above the channel mixer effect. Um, and then you're going to want to select all of these, press toggle switches mode, change them to screen. And then, all right, so we have this right here. And so we're just going to pre-comp these, um, duplicate the layer. We're gonna add a fast box blur and then change it to screen. Wow, that is, I actually like the blue. Like that looks really good. Holy crap. Um, all right, so now we're gonna add a new solid. Uh, I'm not gonna make it exactly black, just kind of close to black. And then I'm gonna put this at the bottom and then I'm gonna uh, add, add some noise. Let me actually make sure there is no black layer enabled in these pre-comps, yep. All right. So just add a little bit of noise, you know, and then, actually, let me hide this for now. We might actually might not even add that, to be honest. Um, and then we can add a, like a, a vignette, and then we can add a lens, CC lens. Um, let's let's. Mm, okay, and uh, we can add a transform effect just to scale this up a little bit. And you know, I think I like. I think I like what we have here. This is actually a work of art. And thank you for watching my tutorial. Boo-doo-doo!